person on the Hanako Games Forum lied. That's all I can say. That suddenly makes more sense, okay? Clever, see you later. Thank you. I, I did have to <laughs> go through several forums. And you know what? Hanako Games is not very helpful. Okay? That, that question was posted on the Hanako Games Forum. And they just linked it to another forum post. Going, haha, I won't tell you the answer, bastard. And shove them away. May have made some of that up. After displaying that mysterious message, the phone powers down. A pressure in my head that I barely notice suddenly melts away. I guess the signal it was making was really bothering me. I'll have to take it to the lost and found the next time I go to the mall. That's not something that someone's left in there by accident, you daft cow. Oh, God. I'm sure a phone like that isn't cheap. Hi, honey. Did you have a good time with your friend? No, it was shit. I got hit on by some two random people offering me drugs. It was terrible. I put a pizza in the oven frost and it will be ready in about half an hour. So the rest of my evening looks set. TV, dinner with mum, and then off to bed. Sounds amazing. Once I'm in bed, sleep comes quickly. I feel the darkness pressing around me. It's so lonely in here. I don't think I like being alone. People say death is just like going to sleep. If you died in your sleep, would you even know? Well, I, I, don't, I don't think we do. Would this darkness just go on? <laughs> Almost definitely not. Sometimes I imagine what it would be like just to have someone into the bed beside me. Pretty good, if you're the guy. A warm shoulder to lean against. And whenever the darkness was too much, I could roll over and hold on. It wouldn't be so bad in the dark if someone were there with me. To be loved. Oh, God. Isn't that what everyone wants? Nope. I'm happy with money. Wait, I see something. That face. I keep seeing you in my dreams. Who are you? I am waiting for you. <laughs> God. Why have I given him like a fucking, like the lead singer from Divine Comedy? Hello. God. Don't go. Don't leave me. I will find you. He is way too old for you, Christina. I just thought I'd point that out. What? The phone. I stumble out of bed and down to the kitchen to answer the telephone. Let me guess. Going silent. It's so early in the morning. Who could be calling? Hello? Hello, sweetie. How's my favorite little girl doing? Oh, great. It's Aunt Madge. She's not my aunt, of course. She's just... I don't really think she's anybody's aunt. Okay, one of those people. Lots of cats. Okay. But she likes to pretend that everybody in the neighborhood is part of her family. And if everyone is family, then everyone's business is her business. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Aunt Madge. I'm fine. Should I go find Mum for you? Mum doesn't mind listening to Madge as long as she doesn't try to matchmake. Yeah, no, yeah, fair play. I don't think she'll try that again. Oh, honey, I was calling for you. Oh, God. I had to be sure, but of course, you're a good girl, aren't you? What are you talking about? Well, I was just getting ready for my walking group when this nice young policeman who probably outranked Susie's husband, even though she spent more years in the force because he can't watch his weight if she would remind him to. Cough, cough, gossip, cough, cough. Well, anyway, this nice young policeman told us there had been one of those rave things. <laughs> one of those rave things. Yeah, I am from the 1940s. I don't see how you listen to that music. It's just a bunch of screaming. I'm totally with you. You're calling to ask me if I listen to rave music? I do hope you don't, or you might end up like that poor girl. What poor girl? Weren't you listening? That poor girl they found behind the mall. Oh, it was a terrible mess, he said. Blood everywhere. And her such a pretty thing. Young thing, he said. That's why we couldn't have our walking group today. Someone was murdered? Okay, so it's a... Uh, who did it? It's almost definitely not those two guys, because there's a prime suspect. It cannot be them. Yeah. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention when your elders are talking to you. <laughs> but I'm just glad you're safe, honey. You're not like those other teenagers. You're a good girl. Talk to you later. Goodbye. She hangs up. Some girl got killed at the mall? I wonder if it was anyone I knew. I should call Lucy. Nobody's home? But Lucy didn't go to that party last night. She went home. So she's fine, right? She's probably not dead if we're already speculating about it. Why isn't she answering? Where can she be? Oh, good morning, Christine. <laughs> Have I been here all night just at the phone thinking? Damn! I'm either very slow or those are some very long thoughts. Right. 
Nice to see you up bright and early. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. High five all English people who got that. Yeah, high five, high five. I was just on my way into town to do some shopping. Would you like me to drop off? You off at the library for a few hours? What should I do? Go to the library, try to find Lucy. I feel we should try to find Lucy. That seems like the most... That seems like the thing we should do. Lucy is my friend. I can't do anything until I find out if she's alright. By the way, the nice to you reference was just an English thing. I think they should put things like that in the English citizenship. I can never say that word. Test. Like, what is the appropriate reaction when someone drops a plate in a bar slash restaurant? Anyone in England knows it's to cheer and roar. A anywhere else, no idea. See, that should be part of the national curriculum, not fucking maths, okay? All right, let's go on. Not today, Mum. Thanks anyway. All right, honey. I'll bring you back a late lunch. She leaves. She should be gone for a few hours at least. Plenty of time for me to get over Lucy's house and look around. It's a nice day. The sun is shining and the air is clear. It's hard to believe there would be horrible murders somewhere. <laughs> it's a good thing like a defenseless young teenager like me is walking alone then. Lucy's house is up ahead. The car is not in the drive. Nobody's home. Lucy's showing me where she, they keep the spare key, so I let myself in. This house looks normal. How can I figure out where they've gone? <laughs> really? Really? I'm just breaking into someone's fucking house. Fuck that. No. We're going home. We're not going to get in trouble. Oh, come on. <gasps> come on, game. I was trying to absolve you from any blame, Christina, and you're just like, nope. We're doing this and we're getting caught. Fuck's sake. All right, uh, let's search the kitchen. That's where we originally found the thing. Search the room for clues about Lu where Lucy and her parents might have gone. You can exit puzzle whenever you are satisfied that you've seen enough. Okay, let's look in the cookies. Okay, nothing in the cookies. Uh, yeah, we've seen this. I think three bowls sit in the kitchen sink. If those are from breakfast... Then three people had breakfast this morning. It could be the murderers. Yeah, which means Lucy's probably fine. Uh, all right, then let's go upstairs. What's that teen under... Uh, okay, it's her bedroom. I walk cautiously up the stairs. I don't really want to poke around too much up here. It would be awfully embarrassing if they came home and caught me in their bedrooms. But a quick look wouldn't hurt anything. Uh, let's check Lucy's room quickly. Lucy's room is a mess. Knowing Lucy, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. She's got quite... You know what? I just want to skip this bit. Go downstairs. Can I go home? Thank you. Okay. I, I don't want to know too much there. Because you're always caught in those situations. That's just the done thing. Alright. I leave the house and replace the spare key. Home again. Yeah. Mm, I wish I'd gotten more sleep this morning before that phone call woke me up. I think I was having a nice dream. I can't really remember. Things seem so important when you're dreaming. When you're awake, they just fade away. Oh, Mum's back. Here you go. I picked us up some nice deli sandwiches. Thanks, Mum. She likes it when we can eat together. Mum goes upstairs to read and I sit around. I can't think of anything to do but watch TV. I call Lucy's house every hour. Nobody home. She's going to come back to a lot of missed calls. Damn. I shouldn't be letting this bother me. It's summer vacation. I should be sunbathing. If you were to stereotype yourself, then sure, yes, you should be doing that. The afternoon passes into early evening. Still no Lucy. Where are you? Christina. Yes, Mum? You've got to stop pacing around the house. You're making me nervous. Well, where should I pace then? I was going to say, what? Whoa! Wow! Not just, hey, look, your room's fine, or why don't we go somewhere? Go outside when there's a murderer, you bastard! Nice. Lovely, sympathetic mother. Mother of the Year award here. Mother of the Year award. Please, everyone applaud. Well done, Mum. <sighs> Alright then. I'll start dinner while you're out. Fine, whatever. I don't really have anywhere to go. At least it's night outside. I guess I'll just keep walking. I wander in the direction of an empty field. Brilliant. Someday, someone will buy this land, probably put another mall on it. For now, it's mostly just a bunch of glass and mud for kids to play on. And probably serial killers. 
There are a lot of bugs here. I should turn back. Wait, I see something up ahead. There's something lying under a tree. Uh-oh. That looks like someone's been killed and their body has been exploited. She she must be dead. There's blood everywhere. She's not moving. I've never seen a dead person before. What should I do? What happened to her? Her purse is here. It wasn't stolen. I can see her wallet and a cell phone. Is it the same cell phone of before? It looks a lot like the phone I found in my bag. Should I call for help? I don't know what to do. Oh, no. I can't let the police find me with a dead per... Why not? They're not going to suspect a 15-year-old girl of murdering someone she didn't know. Without eyes. <sighs> Alright. They might think I had something to do with it. I've got to get away. Use the arrow keys to move through the park. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. The policeman will chase if he sees you. The policeman can't see you if there is a bush between you and him. Where have I got to get to? The policeman will continue moving until the last place he saw you. If he still can't find you, he will return to the crime scene. Start by taking two steps down. Um, one to the right. Now you're hidden. Move down and to the left to the next set of bushes. The policeman doesn't follow because he can't see you. Keep ducking behind bushes and try to reach the exit. But where's the exit? Is it turn-based this then? Where is the exit? I'm trying to... Oh, okay. So it's to the left. Gotcha. Come on. He won't see us down here, will he? Oh, God, he will! Hide! Hide! No! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. All right, so that one in down there. And then this one across here. So now, we can't go across here and belt for it. Because he'll find us. Unless... I can't help thinking... That the bit to the right is there for a reason. So, if I let him see me and then move all the way to the right. Bollocks. <laughs> that didn't work. Alright, can I hold it? Okay, so for every move I have, he has two. Gotcha. So. Oh, come on. How can he see me? I thought I was hiding behind bushes. No. For every two moves, he has one. It's not fair, okay? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, come on. Down, down. And then we've got here. Then if we run down, we've basically got to make it so there's no gap. So, pelt it! Pelt it, I tell you! Pelt! Run! We can't just run away. Ah! Fucking Hanako Games puzzles. Date warp was bad enough. This is going one too far, okay? Because you can't get across here without him seeing you. So then you've either got to make a run for it, which you can't because there's not enough places, or you've got to go to the top right, which is probably the most doable one. So look, okay, he sees us there. I run away up here. He sees me because he moves two places every to his one. Ugh, this is going to annoy me to no fucking end.